It is time for the first game of the season, and it's going to be a divisional one, so it's going to be intense. We need to win these, especially because they're divisional games. Obviously, winning your division guarantees a playoff spot. Coming in second doesn't guarantee anything, so you must win all these games. Philadelphia Eagles will be the team we go against. Next will be the Rams, Raiders, and Chiefs, so all these games will be very difficult. All of these games will be very tough, and hopefully, we can do our thing and get this dub now before we jump into the game i want to go over some injuries now preseason just happened obviously people get hurt all the time in football which you never want to see but a lot of key players got hurt for key teams so we're gonna go over right here and you guys are seeing two players from our team are hurt they're coming back in about three weeks so not too bad now mark ingram and kamara both running backs for the saints are hurt and they are out for a while thomas Rawls, austin davis and another player for the seahawks are out tj watt will be out for four weeks not good they didn't want to hear anything about that you guys are seeing that we're moving through it daniel hunter 87 overall left end is hurt jordan howard is hurt for seven weeks upper arm fracture that is not good at all for the chicago bears they need all their weapons uh, all the time. LaShawn McCoy is out with an abdominal tear, but he'll be back in about a week. Uh, two players are out for the Browns. Two players are out for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Look at the Cardinals. They are missing four key players, four of them, and they're going to be gone for a, a while. I mean, Adrian Peterson is done for the week. 43-week injury. Oh my goodness, Vontae Davis groin tear out for 23 weeks. That's the whole season, I'm guessing. Uh, Cowboys have two players that are out. Uh, Ke Keon? Keon Drake, he's out. Oh my goodness. The Super Bowl champions in the Philadelphia Eagles have three key players out, and two of them are running backs. Not good at all. Jay Ajay and Darren Sproles. Matt Schaub is out. He is a backup quarterback. Um, Orleans Darkwa backup running back is out Leonard Fournette is out six weeks with a broken collarbone you guys are seeing he is an 89 overall and that is a key injury or not key but that's a key player who was hurt for the Jacksonville Jaguars theoretic is also out as you guys are seeing uh who else Packers are looking good Panthers are looking good Patriots have two players out including Michael Bennett 87 overall tight end they do have Rob Gronkowski but you guys do know they run a two tight end system uh, Michael Crabtree will be out for about four weeks with a hamstring tear not good at all uh, defensive tackle is out for the Rams and then a left guard is out for the Ravens now you guys are seeing we have to make our big decision and how we're gonna play this season interceptions will be the key and we're gonna go and at least try to get seven Eagles are starting off in a very good spot. The kick return was very good for them. There goes LeGarrette Blunt, and already Sean Taylor is attacking the running back and uh, gets himself an assisted tackle. Another run by LeGarrette Blunt. Carson Wentz hands it off to him, and LeGarrette Blunt is trucking his way down the field. We all know he is a bruising running back. He is huge. Ooh, but there goes Sean Taylor, and we know he's a hit stick machine. He's a ball hawk, and Carson Wentz tried to get into the end zone, but no. Sean Taylor is there, number 21, and he's not letting anything go into the end zone right here. Aguirre Blunt tries his best, and once again, they could not get into the end zone. So on the one-yard line, they're going to take their field goal. Kick is up, and it will definitely be good. 3-0 is the score right now, and hopefully the offense can score. Hopefully Cousins, okay. He does nothing as he should. But there goes LeGarrette Blunt one more time. And the Eagles are really trying to establish this run game early on. We both know, or we both, we all know, Carson Wentz can run. LeGarrette Blunt can run. Jay Ajayi is hurt. Uh, Jaron Sproles is hurt. So they have one running back right now. And Carson Wentz takes off. But look at Sean Taylor. 
The man takes off down the field. He's a safety playing like a linebacker today. Look at him, excited. All this energy with the team, and this is why the team loves him. He brings energy, excitement, uh, drive, focusness for this defense. And oh, Brett Selleck, what a catch of deflection off the offensive lineman, and he was able to keep his concentration and catch the ball. Carson once again throws it, but look who is there. Sean Taylor tackles Zach Ertz past the first down marker. But still, Sean Taylor was there. The score is 7-3, by the way. Kirk Cousins did his thing, drove the team down the field, and got him a touchdown. And look at Sean Taylor once again. All this running is really working out. Um, oh. Oh. It is working out. I was going to say all this running is working out for our defense because we're reading it. But that time, we sent a huge blitz. And because of that, uh, the running back was able to bounce to the outside get around all of our players untouched and make it into the end zone. First and 10 on the three yard line, their own three are blitzing everybody and LeGarrette Blunt is taken down and it's a safety. The defense is going crazy, the crowd is going wild. And this Washington Redskin defense is looking very good right now. 9-10 is the score. Yes, they are winning. Yes, they have scored 10 points. But look at Sean Taylor. Oh, okay. Oh! Fuller. Interception. And that is how we play. It's not just about one guy. Everybody is active. Everybody is running. And the interception in the end zone it is still 9-10 offense. Please turn up. What a pass. Carson Wentz. Oh, my. To Alshon Jeffrey in the middle of the field now. I play a lot of zone. Sean Taylor is a ball hawk, as we know. He's able to ball hawk the quarterback, get tackles, get sacks, get tackles in, uh, on the running back, get tackles on the receivers. But I'm messing him up in the aspect of stepping up just a little bit too high. And because, oh, interception, Josh Norman. Josh Norman, I ain't normal. I'm not going to say the next word, but you guys are seeing right here. Josh Norman stepping up, but back to Sean Taylor. I'm stepping up way too much, and because of that, there's a lot of plays where um, we're getting beat over top. I am the safety, and I need to realize that, and I need to let Sean Taylor just sit back and wait for the deep pass. But you guys are seeing the score is 17 to 17, and Zach Ertz is bumped out of bounds, which means they're gonna have to punt the ball on fourth and one. 23 to 17 is the score right now, and Carson Wentz is taken down behind the line. All we need to do. It stopped them on third and 18. We get the ball back. And uh, we could run out the clock, honestly. We could run out the clock. And Alshon Jeffries is taken down. So they're going to have to punt the ball on fourth and five. Time is running out. And time is in our favor. We're winning the game. All we have to do is just run the ball. And then if we have to, just near the ball. That was a terrible punt. And we will get the ball on the 20-yard line. As you guys are seeing... We did not have to go back on defense because our team ran it perfectly. They ran it accordingly to the two-minute drill, and we end up winning this game 23-17. to We get a dub in our first game of the season, and Sean Taylor had a tremendous game today. I mean, this man was all over the field. Yes, he got burned a couple times, uh, but that was my fault, and that is something that we will work on in practice. Carson Wentz, 138 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Uh, not good at all. Kirk Cousins as well. Two touchdowns, two picks, only like a hundred some yards. Not good by either uh, quarterback. But Robert Kelly, 154 yards, a touchdown. He fumbled twice, but he ran the ball 41 times. He had a lot of rushes today. Played very well, but you cannot be fumbling two times. Like twice? Come on now. Um, all the receivers are very low uh, with yards today. Alshon Jeffrey did lead the day with 84 yards. Both quarterbacks combined for like less than 300 yards. So what can you really expect from the receivers? Uh, Jordan Reed was the Washington Redskins leading receiver with 40 yards. Zach Ertz came second for Philly with 33. Doxson, Grant, Thompson, and Stevenson all were playing decent as well. Now for the defense, you guys are seeing defenders were everywhere today. Jordan Hicks had 11 tackles 
10 of them were solo, so we played very well. Hendrix had 10, Fletcher Cox had 10, Sean Taylor is up there as well. Four solo, four assisted, and he had eight total tackles on the day. No tackles for a loss today, but he uh, was definitely all over the field for a safety. Basically playing like a linebacker today, so that's very, very good and we are just going to leave it with one game today you guys are seeing the giants also won and they are leading the division right now they must have scored a lot of points cowboys got the l so the redskins and giants are both leading the division right now while the eagles and cowboys are trying to climb up in the table rams raiders and chiefs are next comment down below guys and let me know well first of all did you enjoy that let me know that but second of all how many games in the next episode do you want to see just one just the rams game or do you want to see the rams and raiders game let me know that down below uh whatever you guys want i will do hope you guys are enjoying all these stay tuned for way more coming out soon and for now you guys already know your boy is signing out